Hi you all, welcome once again to Jackie Blue Beauty Tips and welcome to my channel. I want to welcome all my new subbies, my old subbies, and if you're near, new here, I want to welcome you too. I call you all my baby chickadees or chickadees, so um, stay tuned and check out my channel. I have a lot of, lot of videos, so check them out and please always like, comment, and subscribe. So today I'm going to do a video on hair drama and talk about my bangs and my hair, and then I'm also going to do a review on a new eyeshadow palette I got. So, the eyeshadow palette is something that I, don't, I haven't really seen a whole lot on YouTube, and I got it for Christmas from my sister. I don't know where she got it, but I think they do carry it on the Home Shopping Network, and um, usually they have quality products. So I wanna talk about the Cargo Cosmetic eyeshadow palette I got, and I also wanna talk about hair. So first of all, I'm gonna talk about my bangs. If you follow me on Instagram, you know a little bit about the hair drama. So hopefully it's not a repeat, but a lot of you don't have me on Instagram, so I wanted to talk about it. First of all, I'm talking about the bangs. Um, my daughter and I decided to get a few bangs because I don't just for I needed a change. They're cute, and I know a lot of the mature women look so cute in them on YouTube. And well, they're just not really working out that great for me. Um, I have natural curly hair, so I always have to naturally wavy hair, so I always have to style them. So I. I use like the straightener because I can't get them to go right otherwise and I actually burnt myself pretty bad so that was kind of a negative where I thought oh I don't know if I want these bangs and um, yeah so we'll see so I'm in the process of sort of growing them out we'll see um, they're getting a little bit longer I can still wear them down or to the side so you know we'll just see so let me know if you like me better in bangs or without bangs it seems like the bangs are kind of too much maintenance for me anyway so I'll probably be growing them out so I'll give you my take on bangs I think they can be so cute and I think they can make you look younger and I think that um, older women look really cute in them. Um, there are a few older women I've seen with bangs that just look ridiculous because they don't wear them right. So I don't want to look like one of those. So I think that bangs um, can be, if they're worn right, they're really cute. So, and so many, of you, so many of you mature women look so cute in them. That's what kind of inspired me, but I don't know. We'll see. So here's my take on bangs. I think like when they're straight across, they're you know, cuteness overload. Um, I think they're sexy when they're long and almost in your face or in your eyes, but then they kind of bother you. And I think they can be cute side swept or to the side too. So um, we'll see. So we'll see about that. So that's part of my hair drama, but I mean, that's really not a big deal. I can just grow them out. Um, the real hair drama is that the other day when my daughter came to give me a haircut, hair trim, and um, do my roots. She's a, a licensed cosmetologist, um, a hairstylist. And um, I only have one daughter, so don't get confused. She is in college, she wants to be a teacher now. So she did go to school for beauty school. She, st she still loves to do like my hair and stuff, but it just wasn't for her. So um, she's changing careers, but she might as well, she's young, go for it. So that is the same daughter I'm always talking about. So. Anyways, when she came to do my hair, um, she said, oh, she said, oh, mom, your hair looks the worst I've ever seen it. So I'm like, oh no. So we're trying to think what I could be doing different because I always have healthy hair. I never have a lot of split ends. I haven't had trouble with my hair ever, you know, since she's been styling it. And what we figured out is I was using the wrong shampoos. So I had been using some samples she had gotten from school and from um, when she worked. And they were good products, and I just had them all in a basket in the bathroom. I thought, well, I might as well. I found them when I was cleaning, and I thought we might as well use them up. So I was using this um, one that is for um, the one that has protein in for very, very damaged hair, like if you have it bleached and dry, which my hair isn't. So what happens if you put too much protein into healthy hair, it actually makes it break off and very dry. So we figure that out. So, so I'm on um, getting trims regularly now, so it gets healthy again. And I'm using some really, really good products. I'm using the, ba the Basu um, Hydrating Moisturizing Shampoo by Pyrology. And then I'm also using, I think it's by, no, it's by Surface. Sorry, it's by Surface. You have to get that at a, um, you know, a salon, but we can get it at the salon um, store centric because she has her license. So we can, you know, cash in on that. And then I'm using the um, Red Can All Soft Creamy um, Conditioner. So it already feels better. So we'll be okay with that.
So, just a caution, if something isn't right with your hair, you know, consult a professional. It might just be something so simple as what you're using on it. So, I didn't realize that. I mean, I kind of did. I think she told me, but I really didn't pay attention. So, she goes, Mom, I thought I told you not to use those shampoos. So, so anyways, it'll be okay. You know, I have a lot of hair to work with and I'll have to get some regular trims for a while and it will, you know, like I said already, it feels soft or just, you know, I'll have to baby, baby it. And I will because my mane is important to me. My hair is my thing. I call my hair my crown. So all you long hair ladies will understand. <laughs> so that's my hair drama. Now I'm going to get into my uh, new palette. So I'm going to show it to you. It's by Cargo Cosmetics, and this is called the Havana Eyeshadow Palette. And I used it a few times, and I used it today, and I wanted to just talk about it. Really, really, it really has nice packaging, and um, really nice brush. And like I said, it's, it's really a nice palette, and I think it's going to be beautiful for spring and summer. Comes with a pretty nice brush. Look at these colors. They're just so beautiful. They remind me of a summer day at the beach. And um, today, when I used it, I mixed a lot of colors and it didn't get muddy. It's very um, pigmented and very pretty. So today, I'll tell you what I use. Today, Con Leche, I used under my brow. And then I used on my lid, Florida Tita or Florida Tita or whatever it is, on my lid. And then I find, these are weird, weird names. I used the Vintage and the Playa del Este. Um, this was on my transition, this was on my, my crease, and on my um, outer V, or kind of like a 7. So, And then I, I mixed a little bit of the um, brown with the blue, too, for underneath. I didn't want to put that light of blue on yet, because of what I'm wearing. But um, really pretty, really pigmented. Um, I'm really impressed with this palette. Um, I don't know how clean it is. I tried to look it up on the Dirty app, and I don't, I don't know if it's a clean product, but it's definitely a quality product. I've noticed a lot of the high-end eyeshadows are not clean, so I don't know why. You know, like Urban Decay and Anastasia, they're lovely palettes, but they don't rate very good on the clean um, side. So, but I will use it. It's a beautiful palette. I just wanted to pass it on to you. I think they have other colors too. So I'm going to get a lot of use into this as we get into summer. And like I said, it was easy to blend. Uh, comes with a decent brush and I'm really happy with. So um, it was a great gift from my sister and I'll be enjoying it for, for quite a while. Um, my Wet n Wild uh, Photo Focus Stick Foundation. Still loving it. I think it's great for photos and for... Um, I think it's great for videos. So I'm um, still using this and I love it. And I know I have a, if you want to check out, I got a video, I do have a video talking more about this product. So, so that's, you know, what I wanted to share with you all today. I wanted to um, just chit chat with, with my besties here about hair drama, about bangs and about um, this new eyeshadow palette that I wanted to you know, show you. So if you heard of this um, brand, if you've heard about Cargo Cosmetics, please comment below. I hadn't heard about them, but I think it's a quality product. Like I said, I think she may have gotten it from the Home Shopping Network, which, you know, they always have quality, quality, quality products. So um, a shout out to the Cargo Palette and Wet n Wild and yeah, how beautiful and the smile is the best beauty tip. If you're happy on the inside, it will show on the outside. So that is my video for today. I still want to get a lookbook up soon and um, stuff like that. So stay tuned to some of my videos. So um, like I said, that's it for today and I will see you in my next video. Love you all. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.